Well, hello everyone and welcome back to some Sega Gaming with me, JP. And uh, today we're going to start a new playthrough Let's Play series of uh, Shadow of Mordor. Now, this is an amazing game, one of my absolute favorites. Um, let's get started. Uh, we're, we are going to do the story mode, even though I have all the expansions well lord of the hunt the bright lord uh but we are going to do story mode so uh let's get into it in the land of mordor where the shadows lie it was here on the slopes of mount doom that the Dark Lord Sauron was defeated by the last alliance of men and elves. It is here that for two and a half thousand years the rangers of Gondor stood watch, guarding against a nameless threat they had all forgotten. And while the strength of Gondor faded, the power and the malice of Sauron grew in darkness. Return to Mordor. Shadow and flame have fallen on the Black Gate, and no mortal man can stand in its path. You're a So, um, As a perfect swing for killing chicken. It's what going to. to you? It's going to take us through the tutorial. <laughs> Dear Hyle, the mighty chicken killer. Come on. Come on. Show your father what you have. Huh? You'll have to hit harder if you want to best your father. Hard enough? <coughs> Perry, son, don't forget to block. Perhaps you <coughs> should not forget to hit. Stay alert, dear Hyle. Your <coughs> enemy will not always be as he <coughs> appears. <coughs> Easy, son. You're not a soldier yet. I'll have your gun! <coughs> An absolute masterpiece, like seriously. My blade shall rest in your throat! Dear Hyle, remember your training! We're gonna try and not die. We'll have you! Father, they charge sounds... faster than I can strike! It sounds strange. Why, why sound? Yeah, everything's. Everything should be fine, but. Ah, uh, there we go. We are going to try not to die, but uh, I think we'll die a few times in this game. Look at that. These orcs are much stronger than any we've ever seen. They're not orcs, they're orcs. They're far worse. There's too many. Go find your mother. Go find your mother. Keep 
we're safe. I'll be right behind you. Go. Am I dead? You are banished from death. On winds and waters may you cross, see mountains white and blue, but on your road there's no. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my love. Alien, this is beautiful. Where did you find it? I still have a few friends left in Gondor. Did you talk to my father? Yes, I did. And nothing has changed. He's still very stubborn. I say we go anyway. Dear, I will not come willingly. There must be a better life than this. Not now. But soon. I'm just so tired of hiding here, Italian. We must hide now, or we are both dead. Yeah. I'll clear a path. Alan, you should have listened no, no, to your wife. Stealth is my only advantage. We should be a battle. That's right. Oh, dead talk. Yeah. Dead talk. Delicious. Hmm. Brutal. Put the sword down, Ranger. Italian. Now 
do you believe me, Ranger? What has happened to me? You are banished from death. Cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. Curse binds us together within the walls of Arda. If what you say is true, then how do we break this curse? We find the one who cast it on us. The Black Hand of Sauron. Absolutely amazing intro to a game. This is seriously one of my favorites. I'm a big Tolkien fan, and uh, I think this game is really, truly a masterpiece. Let's do what we came here to do. So, unlocking Forge Towers unlocks the Wraith's memories. This unlocks new missions, collectible locations on the map, and Mirian. Escape. Let's go. Let's go kill some Uruks. I heard he tripped over a bell. Fell in a... So, we missed one of you at Narcos, eh? An easy mistake to fix. Ask him on a date. <laughs> Scared the living crap out of him. Let's do this. Interrogate. I want to shank him. I want to shank. What do you know of the Black Hand of Sauron? Is a fiend made of thin air. What more? A slave, I add. Swears he fought him. I sold him for a keg of grog to give the slaver. These are the captains of Sauron's armies, or army, sorry. They appear as shadows because you don't yet know their identity, press space bar. By interrogating enemies, you can uncover valuable information about these captains. You have learned Gimub's identity, this will help you hunt him down. This is titled, The Slaver Gives You Clues About His Role in Uruk Society. You are a nasty piece of work. 
You have also learned his power rating. This gives you an indication of how difficult he will be to defeat. The power rating also determines your rewards for defeating him. Rewards include runes to upgrade your weapons and increasing your own power to unlock new ability tiers. Thank you. And then that's where we can find him. That is where we have to go. If one can trust an orc... Trust has nothing to do with it. His thoughts cannot lie. Okay, gold icons are for the story, red icons display power struggles, um, and the reward is, uh, it, it, it gives you, it upgrades your character. White icons represent side missions and collectibles. Reward uh, Miriam to purchase upgrades. So what we're going to do in this Let's Play playthrough is we are going to focus on white icons and red icons before we move on with gold icons. Uh, I played this game a few times actually and how I figured out the best balance as to not making the story very difficult is to actually do the side quests and the red power icons first if I'm not mistaken. I cannot remember that clearly. So yeah, that's what we're going to do for this this series. Side quests and red icons first, and then move on to gold icons. Now, I'm not saying I'm the best at this game, but I would like you to join the journey with me. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell to join me as we go through this game. Okay, cool. You have two available missions, the Slaver and the Spirit of Mortar. Okay, cool. Enter. Okay, yeah, so you can pause this and read it for yourself. I'm not going to read everything. Uh, so yeah, just pause it here. Cool. Um, Mordor. So I believe, I believe that all of us here watching this series know a little bit of, of, uh, the Lord of the Rings and the lore. So we're actually not going to go through all of this because this is not a tutorial. It's just for fun. There we go. And then we've got weapons and ruins. We haven't. Oh, we have. Oh. Flame of Honor. 20% chance critical hits with the sword will ignite enemies and the blade's flame glow glows orange. Orc Slayer. Combat finishers do extra damage against captains. Rising Storm grants access to the Storm of Earth file. Legendary weapon power. Elven Grace. 50% chance to reduce melee damage received by 50%. That does not stack with other Elven Grace rune. Defiant to the end, never surrender as you gain additional last chance to return to the fray and combat. I'm gonna choose that one. Cool, that's for the sword, the bow. Increase headshot damage by 25%. Reduces the focus of bleach. I'm gonna take that one. And then finally, a dagger. Gravewalker increases the morale effect on enemies when they witness a captain die. Brutalized stealth kills cause additional terror. Stealth kill left shift uh, plus left miles button and ground. Hmm. Deal extra and ground executions. Deal extra damage to captains and war chiefs. Maybe does not stack. Okay, I'm gonna think. I'm, I think I'm gonna take this one for now. Okay. Sauron's army. So, ooh. Oh, that's Ratbag. <laughs> He's so funny. Yeah, so 
<clears throat> we're gonna leave it here. We're gonna end it here because I would like to keep my videos between 18 to 18 minutes to 25 minutes per video as to not make it too long for you. So again, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. I don't just want to make videos where I do stuff and I don't get to interact with all of you watching. So yeah, that will be all for today's video. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.